So I'm going to go ahead and uh, run through a quick video today. Uh, the topic here is uh, Can MX3 Shock Tower Brace Install. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. For those of you that haven't got into the uh, shocks or the shock towers yet. Uh, so what we've done is we went ahead and print, sent out our uh, shock tower brace that we got back from Geyser a while back. I had it on there raw. Um, unfortunately, I had some work done in the garage and that sort of thing uh, with some floor coating. Had to move it out of the house for a couple days, put it on the side of the house. And just in those couple days out here in Arizona, um, you know, it ended up with some uh, surface rust on it. Brought it back in here, uh, dismounted it, put the original back on, and uh, just used navel jelly to clean it up, get all the surface rust off and everything, sent it out to the powder coaters. And uh, I just wanted to walk through this with you guys real quick so that you could see uh, how really pretty much simple it is. Uh, so let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are. Here's my X3. Uh, as you can see, I just went ahead and lifted it in the air uh, already. Done that pre-work. I've got it to where, you know, the tires just barely spin. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, you may have to uh, let yours down a little bit depending on what the tension is on these two bolts right here. Uh, all you're gonna do is go ahead and crack uh, the cover here to the front radiator. So you'll put that guy in there. Uh, these two bolts are held together with one nut, right, on the back side. Very simple, you can see that there. Uh, and essentially all you're gonna do is obviously uh, loosen those up, very simple. You don't have to worry about uh, the shocks or anything blowing off. Uh, for those of you that are really unfamiliar with this, it's very easy to do. Um, in, in all reality, it may take about 15 minutes. Uh, you're also gonna need to remove these two uh, right here. Uh, that are just holding on with this this front assembly here, but nonetheless, we'll just go ahead and remove those bolt those two bolts right here. Remove the two that are up here, and, uh, and then your shocks will start flailing, right? So you just pull them out, uh, and then we'll go ahead and install the new one. So this is very simple. Uh, essentially, what the objective is is you're just going to back these out, loosen them up, crack them, so that you can get the uh, you can actually get the uh, rear nut. And then, it's, and then what I do is I'll just take something like this, something to apply uh, just, just a little bit of pressure while I'm torquing out and uh, pulling out the, uh, the head on the bolt to kind of just uh, force it up so that you can get a gap there. Once you get a gap there, you can really do anything. You can continue to back it out or uh, you can put something in there uh, to really just kind of uh, uh, push it. So, all right. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, we've got clearance on this particular uh, bolt here. So I'm just gonna work it, all right? So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and let this jack down just a little bit right until the wheels just about touch the ground here. All right, so that was a little much, I already know. So I'm gonna pull it back up. And then, once you do that, I mean, it's just gonna come out, right? So, here we are. Go ahead and back this thing out. That's it, man. It's really that simple. You're gonna do that for both sides. Okay, so we've got both bolts removed right now. As you guys come and look at this, you can see all I've done is taken and, uh, and slid to the side. Uh, the actual uh, upper mounts for for the shocks themselves. Um, you know, we've got the gap in there, uh, which the bolts go through. So from here, we're just going to take and remove these two right here, and uh, and then this thing is just going to really just come right out. You can see it's already loose. Uh, so removing uh, the stock bolts through the OEM uh, shock tower brace is going to be 18 millimeter. Uh, these two front lowers here are going to be 10 millimeter. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take those off, and uh, and we go from there. All right, we've got both uh, bolts removed, and this is it.
All right, guys, so that's it, man. That's how quick it goes. That's how easy it is. I'm gonna let it down. That's simple. And that's it, right there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this added some value. Uh, someone out there that's interested in uh, flipping out the shock tower brace uh, in terms of suspension and what you need to do. Uh, as you can see, really not much. All right, thanks again. Hit like, subscribe, uh, more videos to come. This was just a quick throw together on a Saturday afternoon. All right, guys, thanks.